Alright, so hopefully if you're watching this video, you found the first two parts of the tutorial useful. So this is where we're really going to get going and actually start developing something. So what I want you to do is open up your OpenBBE directory. So what that looks like is you're going to see, I'll navigate to it in a minute, but you're going to see two folders. You're going to see Railway and Train right there. So I want you to click on Railway, then click on Root. And in your root folder, I want you to create a new file, call it testroot.csv. Then I want you to open that file up. If you already have that file, that's great. Just make sure that it's new, and for you, it should be blank. I've already done this, so mine is not blank. Uh, so I want you to open that up. And so mine's completed, yours isn't. So what I want you to do is I want you to first code what I have here on the first line that says with options, and that starts the options section. So it's a fairly short section, so just write with options, and then I want you to jump down to the next line, and I want you to type in dot object visibility one, well dot object visibility space one as it appears on your screen. Uh, I also want to note just real quick that you should be doing this from a tablet or phone or another laptop than what you're using to develop, because it's going to be easier if you have two screens to see on. So type in with options. Then type in dot object visibility one. What you pretty much did by typing that is you changed the visibility of objects throughout the root by just making them visible from in front and from behind, which is not the default for OpenBB. So you have to code that in yourself. And then after the with option section, we have the with root section. The with root section right here below pretty much outlines everything administrative about the root. Uh, such as the comment section, which in the previous video you saw that's what it says in OpenBBE before you launch something. It's a short description of the root. And then after that we also have the gauge. Um, the train gauge standard is 1435 millimeters, so type in dot gauge 1435. You should be typing in everything you see as you see it. Alright, so you should have that down pat. So then go down to with train. I want you to type in the with train and then on a new line type in dot folder. And you can just type in folder slash train series, which pretty much what that means is, you know, it means the folder of the train. So let's say, let's talk about the M7. So the folder of the M7 is long, I'm going to go to M7. And then the train series would be, well, the train series is long on the railroad M7, the folder would be M7. Then you have the final name would be 6 car M7. But we don't have any train that we want to use for this route in particular, so you can just give that the basic, you know, train name, train folder, linear stuff that isn't really specific to this route. And make sure that you also code in dot gauge1435, because that should be the same for both the route and the train section, otherwise I don't know what would happen, but you want to keep it the same. So, after you do that, go to the width texture section. So what you're going to do in the width texture section is you're going to write down everything as you see it. Uh, so, pretty much what that means is I want you to type in what you see, and then type in what the width, width texture section does, is it pretty much defines a background. So as you can see, that's the background image name, Hempstead slash back underscore mt dot bimp. And what that pretty much means is that's the image that you're going to see for the background. It's pretty much just a picture of a sky. And then type in all three lines there. Pause your video if you have to so you can capture all of it. Type in those three lines. It's pretty much just setting up the background so that it looks okay in OpenBV and, and that it doesn't look too weird. So take a minute to do that. Pause the video if you have to. Uh, I hope that works out pretty well for you. Yeah, so that's the file name and the folder name right there. Pretty much what that means is that it's going to be repeated six times across the sky. If you like ro rotate 360 degrees, you're going to see the same image six times in a circle. Then it's an aspect of zero. Then we have the width structure section right here. This is a fairly complicated section. What it pretty much does is it defines what you're going to see in the width track section. So if you have, as you can see right here, we have the first thing we say is dot rail in parentheses zero, and then there's a file name. What that pretty much means 
is dot real zero is in Hempstead slash and then the final name is woodtrack.csv. That's the rail we're referring to. That's the rail type that we're going to refer to for the rails. So we'll I'll explain that more in the next video, the with track section. So just know that for the with structure section, when you're coding that, you're going to code the type of it. So free OBJ, which is an object or rail. And then you're going to code the folder, which is going to be Hempstead for our purposes, slash file name, which there are various file names. Just make sure you code everything as it appears here. And just be very careful because you have to get everything perfectly right. Make sure your file is extracted correctly when you downloaded them, otherwise it won't look good. Things like that. Uh, I highly recommend going back to the BVE Station Wiki to look into more detail about how to develop this. It will give you a much greater detailed information regarding just like the basics of coding. Alright, and that is pretty much all I have for this video. The next video will be the with track section. We'll get to use Ruby a little bit and you'll get to see how to really code. I hope you enjoyed this preview and the other ones. And please keep watching and subscribe. Thanks.